What's up everybody, back here with another vlog video for you guys. It's the day after the 4th of July. I really hope all of you had a great 4th of July, because I know I did. I love spending time with my nieces and nephew and my family, shooting off some fireworks. It's a really fun day. I worked in the beginning of the day as you guys saw, and then at the end of the day I spent time with my family at nighttime with all the festivities. Just a really nice day. But anyways, today's the 5th. We're gonna see what the 5th has to offer um, for me today. See how, how much I can make today. See if I can make today a good day, which I try to do every day. Staying positive, staying motivated, getting out there with those goals set. Um, if you like my videos, please smash the like, subscribe for more, comment down below, all that good stuff. And I really appreciate each and every one of you who watch my videos. I know I say that a lot, but I really do. And uh, I wanna see what today has in store for me. So uh, it's about, 11:13 right now so i'm gonna get started around lunchtime. it says it's busy in my market so i'm gonna get out there see what i can get done and uh as always i'll show you guys the pay breakdown at the end of the video see how much i make per hour how much i made for the whole day and let's get out there and make today a good day all right guys so this is the first delivery of the day for me pretty good day um 4.5 miles for 10.50 it's really great mile to pay ratio and right now they're trying to ping me for a new delivery so let's see if i'm going to take it del taco 775 for another 2.5 yes i'm going to take it today's looking like a really good day so far All right, so I just got this offer for 5.4 miles for $11. Pretty good mile to pay ratio, keeps me in a good spot in my zone. So let's keep it going. All right, that last delivery I just dropped off said it was supposed to be $11. That green dot means there was a hidden tip in there. You know how I feel about those. Nice. Hopefully I get a lot more of those today, we'll see. Hopefully today brings out a lot more hidden tips, a lot more bonuses as you guys like to call them sometimes. But uh, let's get back out there and see what we can get. All right, just got this double stacked order sent to me right after that last drop off. 7.8 miles for $16. It's okay mile to pay ratio, but it takes me into a good part of my zone where I get a delivery right away. So it's pretty decent for me. Um, let's go pick them up and keep the day going. All right, so I just picked up this Chick-fil-A order, 2.9 miles for 650. Keeps me in a good spot in my uh, zone. Not the best mile to pay ratio, but it's not too bad. I decided I'd take it, so let's go make this money. All right, just dropped off that last order and picked up this one. 4.3 miles for 8.75. Pretty good mile to pay ratio to me. That last order wasn't the best mile to pay ratio and they tipped me a small amount. Just wanna remind you guys to be smart out there. Stay positive. Look for the ones that you think they tipped well. The number of items, look at that. Look at where it drops you off at. When you're done with the delivery, look at all those things 
and be smart before you hit accept don't just hit accept right away just make sure that you're looking at all those things before you hit accept so that you make more money in the end you're happier throughout the day and you make less mistakes but anyways let's go pick up this order let's keep the day going All right, so I just picked up this order, 2.8 miles for 825. That's a really great mile to pay ratio. Keeps me close in my zone. So let's get to it. Let's go pick it up and make that money. All right, after that last order, picked up this one. 6.6 .6 miles, 13.25. That's uh, almost $2 per mile, give or take. So it's pretty good to me. It takes me in a great spot in my zone. That's uh, always what I talk about too. Um, so let's go pick it up and keep the day going. All right, just picked up this order, um, 1.7 miles for 650. It's a really great mile to pay ratio. It keeps me in a good zone right there. Seven, 16 items. But the item count from McDonald's doesn't matter because it could be sauce packets, it could be little things like that. So just remember that the item count doesn't matter uh, most of the time when it's from like a fast food joint because there'll be some sauce packets or I don't know, sometimes just random little things that aren't food. So. Just keep that in mind too. All right, let's get back to it. All right, I just dropped off that last order, then I picked up this one. 2.2 miles for 7.96. Pretty good mile to pay ratio and if you look at it it's right down the freeway or maybe a side street on the freeway but it's pretty close um, let's go pick it up and I want to just mention that I show you guys the ones that I'm accepting and I don't always show you guys how many times I have to decline orders sometimes I decline five six upward to even maybe seven orders before I find a good one because it's just uh, I'm not gonna take any orders that are wasting my miles wasting my money and wasting my time so I really want to preach that. Like I always say, just pick up the ones that have more mile to pay ratio that's, that's higher, you know, like so. No, I always say that. Try to take the orders that are smart for you. Like this one, you see it's 650 for seven miles. There's no way I would take that. So I'm gonna decline it. Decline, distance too far. All right, so let's go pick it up and uh, let's keep the day going. All right, so this is a much better stack on delivery that they just gave to me when I was inside the first pickup. It's uh, near the first house, um, 7.75 for an additional 4.6 miles. I know it's not the best, but I want to make the best out of today, and uh, this is decent for me to pick up. It's not the best, like I said, but it's okay. Uh, mile to pay ratio, and that's why I picked it up. All right, let's go get it. All right, and there we have our next delivery. 3.1 miles for $8. It's a really great mile to pay ratio. Takes me uh, in my zone in a good spot. So let's go get this order and drop it off. All right, so I double stacked this order at the sushi restaurant at the same place. $12 for 7.7 .7 miles. The only reason I picked it up is because it drops me off in a good area and it's an okay mile to pay ratio. 
but I have to tell you, I just got done waiting for both the orders, and oh, I have to, I'll have to remember not to come back to this restaurant. I was waiting at least 30 minutes. I don't know why I waited so long. I made that mistake. You guys should never make that mistake. You should unassign the orders if they take that long. It just got me in a bad mood, and now I'm just gonna go to this customer in a bad mood, so I gotta get my vibes back. I gotta get my positive attitude back, and I won't let that happen again today. So uh, learn from me, guys. Learn the lesson from me and don't do the mistake yourselves. So, all right, let's get back to it. All right, just dropped off that last order and picked up this order two miles for $6.25. I'd be a fool not to take it. Great mile to pay ratio, so uh, let's get to it. All right, here's the first Uber Eats order of the day. That's why you always have two apps. 2.7 miles for $8.58. That's really great mile to pay ratio. And again, I just want to say that's why you always have two apps going. All right, let's go pick it up. Let's keep this day going. I forgot to take a screenshot of this and I accepted it, but uh, they added a stacked on order of 550 for zero miles. So my guess is that it's taking me to the same address as the first order. So I picked it up and uh, let's go get to it. All right, so I just got this order for 4.5 miles for 1250. Really great mile to pay ratio, keeps me in my zone. Um, so let's keep the day going and let's go pick it up. All right, so I just picked up these two orders from the same place, Urban Plates. 11.6 miles for $20, pretty good mile to pay ratio. So I went ahead and picked them up. All right, let's go get them. All right, guys, so I just I'm trying to drop off that first order of the stack deliveries and the customer, I got to the address they gave me and it's a private school that has a blocked off entrance and that's the side of the school building right there and it's blocked off so I contacted a customer and said am I supposed to be, are you at the private school and they said no it's supposed to be at this address and they gave me the new address and it's a whole city away so I'm contacting support right now to see if they're gonna pay me extra for dropping it off or what I should do because the customer didn't put in the correct address. So if you guys run into this issue, I'm sure some of you have already, uh, it's just a pain in the neck. Like it's just an issue that you don't wanna have to go through and I'm doing it now. So anyways, I'm gonna get this dealt with and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, so I just got my answer from the chat support. I did not want this to happen, but they told me there's nothing they could do and they're going to pay me in full and I'm just going to have to, they're going to cancel the order on their end and they're still going to pay me in full. So I didn't expect this, but that's what they're doing. So I'm getting full pay for not delivering the food. That's interesting. So I don't know if you guys have had that happen yet, but I just made $12 not giving the food to the customer. Anyways, let's go drop off the second order now. So that's pretty interesting. All right guys, so I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but you guys saw in that last clip that the customer gave me the wrong address. So I went to the wrong address that they gave me. It was a school that was shut down, nobody was there. And uh, I asked the customer if they were there. They told me no, oh, it was supposed to go to this new address that they sent me. So I contacted support and support told me that's out of our delivery zone. So we will cancel it for you and give you the full pay and it's now two hours after the delivery. I still don't have to pay. They told me it's in my account, but every time I go to look at my earnings, it's not there. So I'm hoping that at the end of the week, I end up actually getting it. They sent me an email confirming that they gave it to me, but it's still not showing up in my account on DoorDash, so I don't know. For now, I'm just gonna act like it's not there and then hopefully at the end of the week it shows up but whatever i might have just gotten ripped off i don't know let me know if you guys have any experience with that uh, but anyways i'm going to take you through the pay breakdown for today and show you how much i made per hour and how much i made for the day so let's check it out so for doordash i made 175.96 
with six hours of active time. And then with Uber Eats, I know there's probably still a few tips left to come in on Uber Eats, but so far 11.74 with a half an hour of active time. Divided by 6.5 hours of active time. So there I made t almost $29 an hour. And my total was 187.70. But like I said, I was supposed to get another 17, 16.50 for that order that was the wrong address. But um, yeah, there you have it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. I know I say that a lot, but I really do. If you like this video, remember to smash that like, comment down below, subscribe for more, all that good stuff, and stay tuned for the next episode.